Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a makeup tutorial on this look right here using the Friendcation palette in collaboration with Desi and Katie and Dose of Colors. The palette is beautiful. I kind of thought that it was going to be an overhyped palette where everybody's saying that it's a lot better than it is, but once I actually got my hands on it and I tried it for myself, I was completely surprised by the amazing quality of everything in here. I don't know why I was so surprised because they are just incredible. I've been watching them for years and they are just such an icon and people that I have learned so much from. And I don't know why I thought that this wasn't going to be meh, but everything is amazing. The shadows are super pigmented, super easy to blend. They're just, they perform so well. And I think this is going to be a very heavily reached for palette for me. I just, I'm obsessed with how my eyeshadow turned out and I only use shadows from the palette, which you know, a lot of the time I end up reaching in a bunch of different palettes or colors, but I found everything that I needed in here with the mattes and the progressions of the lighter to the darker matte brown shades, which made for easy transition colors, and I just absolutely love everything about this palette. Can't say enough good things. So I'm really excited to share how I created this look with you guys, and if you are interested, then go ahead and keep on watching. Okay, so I'm actually going to start off with my eyes today, and obviously I'm going to be going in with the Friendcation palette. This is Desi and Katie's collab with Dose of Colors, and I'm just mostly going to play around with colors in here. I'm not going to go and pull other colors from other palettes that I have, because I want to make this as easily recreatable as possible by just using this one product. So the first color that I'm going to be taking is this one right here, and I believe that it's called Basic, because it doesn't make sense that it would be called A Moment. I think this one's called A Moment. I never know how to read these if it's either identical to the way that the palette's laid out or if it's like okay this one is back here and this one's back here um, I'm assuming that it's has to do with where they're actually placed if you would flip it back and forth this is just a fluffy like big brush that I use to kind of place a bone colored shadow over the entire lid if I haven't used concealer or any other face products yet first just to kind of clean the canvas that we're going to be working on. It's a really nice nude skin color color and it actually is packing on pigment and I am seeing less of the veins in my eyes now. You could go in with an eyeshadow base, I'm just not so into them. I never have problems with shadows creasing or fading throughout the day, but if you do have issues like that then I would recommend going in with an eyeshadow base and then placing this color on top to set it. That way it's easier to blend the other shadows on top. So for the first color in the crease, I'm going to be taking this shade right here called Necessary. It's just a cool tone brown shade. And I'm just going to take that on my Sigma E40 brush. And I am going to start it right here in the center of my crease. You notice that I'm looking down as I first place the color. And I'm just going to start wiggling the product back and forth. So I'm initially placing the product right in the center to give the most pigment right there and then I start to move the shadow back and forth, building it up slowly. Okay, so now that we've sort of messily have this color in the background, I'm going to go in with a darker brown shade to deepen that up. I'm going to be taking this brown shade right here. This one is called Churro and I'm going to be taking that on a Zoeva. This is a... 228 Lux Crease Brush. I'm just going to dab a very small amount just on the tip of the brush and I am going to go straight into my crease and eye socket area like right where my eyeball is. I'm just going to place the color right in there. And if you don't have a crease then just look down, put your brush and create one yourself. So I'm taking this color all the way from the outer corner into the inner corner of the eye and I'm just going back and forth in windshield wiper motions. So if you watch my videos a lot then you might have noticed that most of the time when I do my eyeshadow I kind of wing it out to elongate and lift my eye but today I want to keep the shape a bit more rounded and in order to kind of erase the shadow that I brought out a little bit too far I'm going in with that first shade that we put down all over the lid on the same brush and I'm just kind of erasing the edges. I'm going to buff out that color, it's going to blend it a little bit more seamlessly also, so it's blending into nothing. Just little, little light circular motions, and then you'll go back in with your blending brush to go over the edges again. 
So to deepen it up just one notch further, I'm going in with the darkest brown of the palette. This is the shade Cheens. And I'm going to be taking it on a Makeup Geek soft dome brush, but anything that comes to a tapered point will do. You can even use the same brush that I was just using. And I'm going to start this one on the outer corner of the eye instead of the center, and then I'm going to take whatever's left over and then start working it through the crease. And I'm moving this one just a little bit lower into the socket and a little bit onto the eyelid. So now that we have the eyes looking pretty even, we can always go back and even them out later if need be. I'm going to go in with the lid shade now. So this shade right here called Dirty Money is going to go all over the lid and it is one of the more metallic shades in the palette. And they say to use it with water instead of Fix Plus or anything like that. So I have this little spray bottle of water. I'm just going to spray my brush. This is the 234 Zoeva Luxe Smoky Shader Brush. Um, the bristles are just stained, but it is clean. There's nothing else on it. And then I'm going to go into the shadow, pick up some color on the brush, and I'm going to start placing this on the lid. So my goal for the lid shade is for it to be a little bit more of a halo eye. So I'm going to go back in with my darkest brown color, and I'm going to very lightly kind of go over where the lid shade ends and I'm going to kind of try and hide the start and the stop. And I'm going to do the same on the inner corner as well. Okay, so I'm going to leave the eyes here for now. I'm going to work on the face and then we will work on the lower lash line. To prime my skin today, I'm going to be using the Too Faced Hangover RX 3-in-1 spray. This is the replenishing primer and setting spray. So that's going to add some nice hydration to my skin and just in the center of my face I'm going to be taking this Givenchy primer. This is the mattifying base. I'm going to take a very very small amount of it and I am just going to place that right on my nose area, my chin, and right here in the center of my forehead. For foundation today, this will come as no surprise, I'm using my Touche Clot Foundation. This is in the shade BD40, and I'm going to be using that on my Sigma Flat Top Kabuki F80 brush. I'm taking one pump to start, distributing it all over the bottom half of my face, and I'm going to start pushing this into the skin. Normally I'll use one pump for the whole bottom half of my face, and then half a pump on my forehead after. I like to work in large sections. Okay, so now that my brows are on, I'm going to go ahead and conceal. This is the Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion Ultra Long Wear Concealer in the shade 3W. I'm going to take a very small amount of it, just right here, and then right underneath my eye. This area right here is actually discoloration. It's not shadow taken down too far. So I just want to conceal this area, and then we'll put shadow where we want it. I'm also going to take a little bit down the center of my nose, and that is it. Whatever's extra, I will use the brush to kind of brighten up the rest of the center of my face. But I'm going to be using this Luxie Small Contouring 512 brush to push that into the skin. With concealer, you do want to push the product into your skin instead of swipe or blend it into the skin because this way you'll get the most product. If you do any other type of motion, you're actually going to pick up product that's on underneath it and it's going to look really patchy and like a hot mess so with concealer definitely stick with pushing motions next i'm going to go ahead and set my under eyes with the laura mercier original translucent setting powder and this is my sigma f35 brush i'm just going to take a little bit of powder and i'm just going to push the product underneath the eyes i also like to take the powder on the sides of my nose to help with the sculpting process right in the center of my forehead where I get oily, as well as my smile lines and my chin, just this area. And then I'm gonna set the rest of my face with a different powder. So for the perimeter of my skin, I'm gonna be using my Laura Mercier Translucent Glow Powder. I'm using such a small amount of this on the finishing brush by Laura Mercier, and I'm using a very light hand to just swirl a little bit of powder. And this is gonna ensure that my face is not a flat mat. There's still going to be some dimension, but it will still be set. 
Now just to get a light sculpt of the nose, I'm going to go in with my Laura Mercier Matte Bronzing Powder in the shade number 1 and my NARS Pita Brush and I'm just going to go kind of close to the middle of the nose and try to make as straight of a line as possible, as close to the center as possible because when you make the two lines closer together, you're pinching the nose and making it look smaller. Now I'm going to take my other brush and dust away the powder. To bronze the skin today, I'm going to be using my Dark Chocolate Matte Bronzer by Too Faced. I use a very small amount of this because it is super pigmented. And I'm using that on my It Cosmetics Wand Ball Brush. And I'm just very lightly going to do light circular motions to warm up the cheeks. And on the same brush, I'm going to take a little bit of that Laura Mercier powder again and just place it right underneath for a little bit of a shadow. For blush today, I'm going to go in with this newer one from Laura Mercier. This is in the shade Rose, and I'm going to use that on my Sonia Kashuk blush brush. I'm going to take just a little bit of it on the brush, and then I'm going to start further back on the cheeks, and then bring the rest forward. So to stay on theme with the Desi and Katie collab, I'm actually going to be going in with Fuego from their first release that is actually released again with this second collection. Just the packaging is a little bit different. This one was a lot more bright. This one was a lot deeper. I'm just going to use a very light amount on the top of my cheekbone. And normally I connect it into my eyeshadow, but I'm not going to do that today because I want to keep that space matte. I'm going to take it on my nose as well. And I'm actually going to take some on the inner corner of my eyes as well. I'm just going to take it right in here. Now let's get back to working on the lower lash line because I look very top heavy. Okay, so the first shade that I'm going to take on my lower lash line is going to be this one right here, which is Churro. Run this along the lower lash line. And then I'm just taking a very small amount of the deepest shade of brown, which is jeans, yes, and just putting it on the outer corner to connect it up. And then what I'm going to do is on a different brush, you could use one of the ones we use to blend in the crease, I'm just going to very lightly blend the edges. I guess I ended up winging it out a little bit in the end, I don't know what I, no matter what I do, I always end up elongating my shadow because I just feel like a round shape just is not flattering on my face at all. No matter how hard I try, it just doesn't look good. So now I'm going to go ahead and add a bit of mascara and I'll be right back. Okay, so mascara is on and for a last step, I'm just going to go ahead and use some lipstick. This is by a brand called Glow Skin Beauty. It showed up in my P.O. box and I'm obsessed with the formula. This is in the shade Pillow Talk. It's such a comfortable matte and the color has such a beautiful undertone to it. It's my perfect nude. I love it because it's basically the shade of my actual lips, but just a little bit extra. So for a last step, I'm just gonna quickly set my face with the same thing we primed our skin with. And then this look is complete. So that is it for today's makeup tutorial. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and let me know in the comment section below if you want to see any other looks with this palette because I would be happy to do it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.